This Week in IT. Rumours spread on the internet of a mysterious new edition of Windows 11. There's no more driver synchronization for Windows Server update services. And Microsoft is previewing a new optimized architecture for the Teams client for VDI. So stay tuned for all the latest news. Welcome to This Week in IT, the show where I discuss everything connected to Windows, Microsoft 365 and Azure. But before we get started, I've got a quick favour to ask you. About 64% of the people who watched last week's video weren't subscribed to the channel. Now, as we go live today, we're on about 6,960 subscribers, and I'd really love it if we could push that up to over 7,000 this week. So if you'd like to help us achieve our goal and see these weekly news updates from from Petri.com, then please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure you don't miss out on the latest uploads. This week at Petri, I was doing a little bit of research into what are the popular search terms related to Windows. And one thing came up as top this week, Windows 11 Government Edition. Now, my colleague who's not really a technology person was asking, what is this about Windows 11 Government Edition? Why are people are searching it? And I was like, well, hang on, a second, there is no official Windows 11 government edition. So I started doing a little bit of digging and it seems that a fake version of Windows 11 has appeared it seems to come from Russia on the internet that's highly customized with lots of things removed. So it's a lightweight version of Windows 11 with activation disabled. So essentially you can install it and you don't have to pay for Windows. Of course, definitely not recommending you do that. I don't recommend that anybody for whatever reason downloads uh, a w version of Windows that's not sanctioned by Microsoft. You just don't know what's on it. You don't know what other things are there under the surface that you might come to regret if you installed it in the future. Now, we do know that Microsoft has been working on a version of Windows 11 specifically for the Chinese government, but it's not something that you can download or something that they're making available as something you can just easily purchase. So the question that comes to my head is, well, why is this so popular in terms of search this week? It's free, <laughs> so you don't have to activate it. That's probably the biggest reason. And maybe the fact that it's very customized, a lightweight version of Windows 11 is definitely going to appeal to some people. There's like the customized version that's quite popular called Tiny. Uh, people have been using that, but again, don't recommend that you touch this version. It's not for businesses, that's for sure. Probably the most interesting news this week is that Microsoft is previewing a new version of the Teams client for people running a VDI infrastructure. Now, of course, we all know that there's been the new Teams client that was officially released, uh, I think it was earlier this year. It kind of went into general availability, so everybody should be uh, either running that or have the chance to switch the new Teams client and a lot of work was put into it to improve performance and of course there are some redesign aspects and some new features. But VDI users up until this point have been left behind. Now this new client for VDI runs on something that Microsoft is calling Slim Core and it essentially gets rid of the WebRTC protocol and replaces it with something that is much more efficient for for streaming media across the internet, which of course is essentially what you're doing with a VDI desktop. Now, Microsoft says that this new version of the Teams client for VDI is bringing all of the improved performance that desktop users see in the desktop client, along with the new features and that the Slim Core architecture will be updated separately from the client. So that's gonna enable Microsoft to deliver features faster and that the VDI client will reach feature parity with the standard client. Microsoft is also saying that the Slim Core media engine will be automatically updated. So there's no need for prompts or reboots and that it's bringing long awaited functionality like the different gallery views. So three by three and seven by seven, the option to to customize meeting backgrounds, 1080p support, presenter mode, noise suppression, 
and hardware acceleration. Microsoft is also planning to add Teams Premium features. At the moment, the preview is available to users on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Citric Desktop as a Service, as well as virtual apps and desktops for Windows endpoints. Are you using Teams in a virtual desktop infrastructure? Let me know what you think about the updates. Have you downloaded the preview? Are you testing it in your environment? Let me know in the comments below. Microsoft is deprecating the driver synchronization service for Windows Server update services in April 2025. Now, Microsoft recently did a survey of its customers and discovered that only 34% of them are using this feature. So why is that? Well, probably because it, it sucks. <laughs> so it really focuses on Microsoft drivers, not third party driver support. IT administrators have to manually approve the driver updates and they take up a lot of storage space on the server. Now, Microsoft is recommending that customers switch to a different tool. So if you want uh, driver updates as part of your automated process, then you can look at Intune and Windows Update for Business or a third party solution. I'd really love it if you gave this video a thumbs up because it helps us to get the video seen by more people on YouTube. I'm gonna leave you with another video that you might find interesting on the screen about the new Copilot Plus PCs, but that's it from me this week and I'll see you next time.